Hey, Shalom, and welcome back, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Parable of the Vineyard YouTube live stream of reading of the Targums of Isaiah. And this is actually part four. Hang on. Part four, and um, we're going to be reading from chapter 40 till, I'm not sure. Um, truth be told, this is kind of just random. I had, had a little extra time, and I was like, you know what? Let's get some more reading done with the, uh, the Targum of Isaiah. Because I'm actually really excited. Um, this is just something I'm going to do sporadically, I guess, over the next few weeks um, when there's extra time. We're going to finish up Isaiah, and then I've got the um, like I've got the Targums of Ezekiel, uh, the Minor Prophets, uh, Jeremiah. Um, I don't know. I'm getting almost the whole collection. So uh, all, most of these are not available on PDF. So I was like, hey, you know what? Um, they're and you know they're not cheap. So I figured this might be a good way for. Uh, some people to hear these that might not be able to hear them otherwise. So anyways, let's not waste any time. Let's get right into the scriptures and uh, let's just pray really quickly that uh, the Most High blesses this reading. Heavenly Father, O Yahuwah, we come before you in Yahusha's name and we uh, are assembling in your name and for your honor and we pray that uh, you are pleased that um, people want to gather together and hear your word. So we ask that you bless it and be here amongst us and open our eyes and ears that we may hear and understand the words you've given to your prophets and uh, may hearken to your words. Amen and amen. All right, so here we go. Uh, okay. Again, Targums, chapter 40, Book of Isaiah. If you're just stumbling across this, the Aramaic Targums is essentially the Aramaic versions of these scriptures. So here we go. Chapter 40. O ye prophets, prophesy comfort to my people, saith your Elohim. Speak ye comfortably to Yerushalayim, and prophesy concerning her that she shall be filled with the people of the captivity, because her sins are forgiven, for she hath received the cup of of consolations from Yahuwah as if she had been smitten twice for all her sins. Sorry, give me just a second. A voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way before the people of Yahuwah. Cast up a highway in the plain before the congregation of our Elohim. All the valleys shall be exalted, and every mountain and hill shall be made low, and the rugged way shall be a level, and the hilly ground a valley. And the glory of Yahuwah shall be revealed, and all the sons of flesh shall be see, shall see together, that by the word of Yahuwah, there it is again, it had been decreed thus, the voice of one crying, Prophesy. He answered and said, What shall I prophesy? All the wicked are as grass, and all their strength as the chaff of the field. The grass withereth. Its flower fadeth, because the spirit of Yahuwah bloweth upon it. Surely the wicked among the people are considered like grass. The wicked dieth, and his thoughts perish. But the word of our Elohim shall stand forever. Upon a high mountain get ye up, ye prophets, that bring good tidings unto Zion. Lift ye up your voice with strength, that bring good tidings to Jerusalem. Lift it up, be not afraid, say to the cities of the house of Yahuda. The kingdom of your Elohim is revealed. Behold, Yahweh Elohim shall be revealed, and the strength of the arm of his might shall rule before him. Behold, the reward of those who perform his word is with him, because their works are manifest to him. He shall feed those that are of his flock like a shepherd. He shall gather the lambs with his arm. He shall carry the tender ones in his bosom. He shall lead gently those that give suck. He who hath promised these things shall confirm them. He hath spoken it, and he will do it. He in whose sight all the waters of the world are accounted as a drop in the hollow of the hand, and the expansion of the heavens as if they had been prepared with the span, and the dust of the earth as if measured in a measure, and the mountains as if weighed in scales, and the hills in a balance. Who hath directed the Holy Spirit in the mouth of all the prophets? Is it not Yahuwah? He maketh known the words of his will to the righteous, to the servants of his word. That's Messiah Yahusha. Hallelujah. I will make known wisdom to them who pray, f pray for it from him. Remember that book of James says that if you want wisdom, pray for it and he'll give it to you. Except if you're double-minded, he won't give it to you. And I will teach them the way of justice. Yea, he will give the Torah to their sons and he will make known to their sons the path of understanding. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket and are counted as the small dust of the balance. Behold, the isles are as the fine dust that flieth away. 
And the trees of Lebanon are not sufficient for fire, nor the beasts in it sufficient for a holocaust. All nations are as nothing, their works are accounted before him as not. And whom do you think able to contend with Elohim? And what is the likeness that you can compare with him? Behold, the artificer maketh an image, and the goldsmith overlayeth it with gold, and with silver chains, and the silversmith fasteneth it. He cuts a wild ash of the forest, which rottenness will seize. He, pro he procures a skillful artist to fix the image, that it be not moved. Have ye not known? Have ye not heard? Hath not the work in the creation been declared unto you in its order from the beginning? Have ye not understood that ye ought to fear him who hath created the foundations of the earth, who maketh the Shekinah of his glory to dwell in exalted strength, and all the inhabitants of the earth are in his estimation as locusts? He that stretched out the heavens as a little thing, and spreadeth them out as the tent of the glory of the house of the Shekinah, who gives princes over to weakness, the judges of the earth he bringeth to naught, although they multiply, Although they increase, although their children become great in the earth, yet, nevertheless, he will send his wrath among them, and they shall be confounded, and his word shall scatter them as the world when the chaff. And that's why, you know, we've been talking a lot, if you've been following anything on the channel, you know, who cares about these people that are ruling right now? Let them do their thing. Yahuwah has them in their positions. They're doing what they're supposed to be doing um, in their wickedness, you know, as far as, um, you know, leading the, the wicked astray. Um, they're going to get theirs. Vengeance is Yahuwah's. We don't have to sit here and trash these people all day long and expose them for this. Who cares? Who cares? They're going to get theirs. All right, so that's what I was saying is, although they multiply, although they increase, although their children become great in the earth, nevertheless, he will send his wrath among them. Right? Hallelujah. To whom then will you liken me, and to whom will ye equal me, saith the Holy One? Lift up your eyes on high, and behold, that ye may fear him who hath created these things, who bringeth forth the host of the heavens by number. He calleth them all by their name. On account of the combination of forces and might of power, not one is hindered in its orb. Why sayest thou, O Jacob, and speakest, O Yisrael? My way is hid from Yahuwah, and my cause is removed from my Elohim? Hast thou not known? Yea, hast thou not heard that the everlasting Elohim, Yahuwah, hath, who hath created the foundations of the earth, is not fatigued, neither is weary? There is no end to his wisdom, who giveth wisdom to the righteous that long for the words of the Torah. And to those who have no strength, he multiplieth strength. And the wicked youth shall be fatigued and shall be weary, and the impious young men shall utterly fall. But they that hope for the salvation of Yahweh shall be gathered together from the midst of their captivity and shall increase their strength. And their youth shall be renewed like the sprout that springeth up. They shall hasten upon the wings of eagles and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Oh, man. It's so good. Chapter 41. Listen unto my word, ye islands, and let the kingdoms increase their strength. Let them come nigh, let, then let them speak. Let us approach one another for judgment. Who openly brought Avraham from the east? He brought the chosen of the righteous in truth to his place. He delivered up nations before him, and broke in pieces mighty kings. He cast the slain down like the dust before his sword, and he pursued them like stubble before his bow. He pursued them and passed by safe and safely passed by and passed by safely and passed safely by. Sorry. The roughness of the path shall not affect his feet. Who hath promised these things and established them? Who hath spoken and it was done? And who hath ranged the generations in their order from the beginning? I, Yahuwah, I created the world from the beginning. Yea, ages after ages are mine and besides me there is no Elohim. The isles shall see and be afraid. They that are at the ends of the earth shall tremble. They shall draw nigh. They shall come. Let every one help his neighbor, and every one say to his brother, Be of good courage. Shall, shall they not be confounded in their works, because the artificer encourageth the silversmith, and he that smiteth with the hammer, him that smiteth with the small? It is time, one saith, for the soldering. It is ready. 
He fasteneth it with nails, that it may not be moved. But thou, Yashrael, my servant, Yaakob, in whom I delight the seed of Abraham, my friend, I have brought thee out of the families of the earth. I have chosen thee out of a kingdom. And I have said unto thee, Thou art my servant. I delight in thee, and I will not thrust thee away. Fear not, for my word shall be thy support. Be not dismayed, for I am thy Elohim. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my truth. Behold, all the nations that are incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing. They that strive with thee shall perish. Thou shalt seek them, and thou shalt not find them. Even them that contend with, with thee, they shall be as nothing. The men that stirred themselves up to make war with thee shall be less than nothing. For I am Yahweh thy Elohim, that will hold thee fast by thy right hand, who saith unto thee, Fear not, my word shall be thy help. Fear ye not, ye tribes of the house of Jacob, ye seed of Yashrael. My word shall be your help, saith Yahuwah, and your Redeemer, the Holy One of Yashrael. Behold, I will make you a mighty threshing instrument full of, of sharp edges. Thou shalt slay the nations. Thou shalt consume the kingdoms. Thou shalt make them like chaff. This is yet to happen. Thou shalt fan them, and the wind shall carry them away, and my word shall scatter them as the whirlwind scattereth the chaff. But as for thee, thou shalt rejoice in the word of Yahuwah. Thou shalt glory in the Holy One of Yashrael. The poor and the needy long after instruction, as the thirsty after water, but do not find it. Their spirit faints in affliction. I, Yahuwah, will hear their prayer. I, the Elohim of Yashorel will not cast them off. I will gather their captives from the midst of the nations, and I will lead them in the right path. I will open for them rivers and torrent beds, and fountains in the midst of the valleys. I will make the desert pools of water, and the land that is a thirsty place springs of water. And, you know, when he's talking about this, uh, you know, truly it can be in a physical sense. But remember the Deuteronomy 32, um, he tells us that his doctrine, his doctrine, not man's doctrine, but his doctrine drops down as the rain drops from heaven. So when he's talking about just gushes of water coming down, he's talking about pouring out his doctrine. I believe that's happening right now. And it's no, uh, it's no coincidence that out of nowhere, it seems like... Um, thousands tens of thousands maybe even hundreds of thousands maybe hundreds of thousands is too many but at least tens of thousands are coming back to his torah have come back to his torah at this point uh maybe more maybe a couple hundred thousand who knows uh but that's a lot of people out of nowhere for it to just be you know a, a movement of just man figuring out the scriptures in the last days it just doesn't work like that I will put cedars, acacias, and myrtles, and oil trees in the wilderness. I will make the fir tree, the elm, and the box tree grow together in the desert together. And that's kind of, again, what's happening. You know, we're in the wilderness of the people. We're, we're kind of in, you know, we're in the desert, per se, in the time of testing. And, you know, we, what he's talking about here is cedars, acacias. These are, these are beneficial trees. These are trees for the use of man, uh, as opposed to, like, thorns and briars and thistles that— um, are likened to people that do not bring the fruit forth the fruits of uh, bearing fruit of keeping the Torah. So, in order that they may see and know and put my fear in their heart and may consider together that the might of Yahuwah hath done this and the Holy One of Yisrael hath created it, produce your cause, saith Yahuwah. Bring forth your arguments, saith the King of Jacob. Let them approach and show us what shall happen to us. Let them declare the former things that they were, that, they, that we may consider and know their event, or declare unto us the things that shall come. Declare the things that are to come hereafter, that we may know whether ye worship idols in which there is any profit, whether they are able to do good or to do evil, that we may consider and argue together. Behold, ye are nothing, and your works are to no purpose. That in which ye delight is an abomination." I will certainly bring a king who is mightier than the north wind, and he shall go forth as the going forth of the sun in the might from the east. I will strengthen him by my name, and he shall come and tread the rulers of the nations underfoot, and those who tread the dust underfoot, as the potter who prepares the clay. Who hath declared this from the beginning that we should know it, and before time that we may say it? It is true, yea, there was none that foretold it, yea, none that declared it, yea. None that heard your words. 
The words of consolation which the prophets prophesied from of old concerning Zion, behold, they shall come to pass. And unto Yerushalayim I will give one that bringeth good tidings. And it was made known to me that there was no man whose works were good. And of these there was none who would take counsel, that I should ask them, and they would answer a word. Behold, all of them are nothing, and their work less than nothing. Their thoughts are plunder and destruction. Behold my servant, the Messiah, whom I bring, my chosen, in whom one delights. As for my word, I will put my Holy Spirit upon him. He shall reveal my judgment unto the nations. He shall not cry aloud, nor raise a clamor, and he shall not lift up his voice in the street. The meek who are like a bruised reed he shall not break, and the poor who are as the glimmering wick with him he will not quench. He shall bring forth judgment unto truth. And we know this is talking about uh, Messiah Yahusha who came and offered himself up for us that we may be reconciled back to the Father. And this is what uh, this book continues to talk about, his word, his word, his word, his word. We know that John 1, 1 through 3 and 14, uh, 1, 14 openly declares that he is the word. Thus saith the Elohim of eternity, who hath created the heavens and suspended them, who hath founded the earth and given breath to its inhabitants, even to the people upon it, and spirit to them that walk therein. I, Yahuwah, I will make thee to grow in truth, and will hold thine hand, and I will direct thee, and give thee for a covenant of the people, for a light of the Gentiles, to open the eyes of the house of Yashrael, who are blind to the Torah." to bring back their captivity from among the nations where they are like prisoners and to redeem them from the servitude of the kingdoms being shut up as those that are bound in darkness. I am Yahuwah, that is my name, and my glory in which I am revealed to you I will not give to another people, nor my praise to the worshippers of images. Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare. I apprise you of them before they come to pass. Sing unto Yahuwah a new song. Proclaim his praise from the ends of the earth, ye that go down to the sea and its fullness, the isles and the inhabitants thereof. Man, let me tell you something. Um, this year, sing unto Yahweh a new song. Let me tell you something. Um, I've been reading this and reading this and reading this my whole life. Well, really intently the last, what, couple of years. Anyways, uh, when you actually walk out this this right here, sing unto Yahweh a new song, um, there's something supernatural about it. Let me just tell you something. If you aren't if you aren't singing daily, sing to him. Verse eleven. Let the wilderness praise him, and the cities that are in it, the villages which inhabit the wilderness of the Arabians. Let the dead praise him when they go forth from their long abodes, from the tops of the mountains. Let them lift up their voice. Let them ascribe glory unto Yahweh and declare his praise in all the islands. Yahweh shall be seen to do mighty things. He shall reveal himself in anger to do a mighty work by the word of his wrath. He shall reveal himself to the enemies by his might in an earthquake. I have given them prolongation for a long time, if they would return to my Torah, but they did not return. My judgment shall be revealed upon them, as pains on a woman in travail, they shall be destroyed and come to an end together. I will make waste mountains and hills and dry up all their herbs. I will make the rivers islands, and I will dry up the pools, and I will lead the house of Yashrael, who were like the blind in a way which they knew not, in paths they have not learned, I will lead them. I will make darkness light before them, and the rugged place a plain. These things will I do for them, and will not forsake them. They shall be turned back. They shall be ashamed that worship images, that say to the molten images, Ye are our gods. Ye wicked, who are like the deaf, have ye no ears? Hear ye, and ye sinners, who are like the blind, have ye no eyes? Is it not so, if the wicked and the sinners to whom I have sent my prophets will repent, they shall be called my servants, but the wicked shall be paid with vengeance for their sins. But if they will repent, they shall be called the servants of Yahuwah. Ye see many things, but ye observe not, having your ears opened, but ye receive not instruction. Yahuwah delights in justifying Yashrael. He will magnify those that obey his Torah, yea, he will strengthen them. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. All their young men are covered with confusion and shut up in prison houses. They are for a prey, and there is none who delivereth for a spoil, and none saith, Restore. Who is there among you that will listen to this? Who will hearken and consider for the time to come? Who delivered Jacob for a spoil and Yashrael to the robbers? Was it not Yahuwah? Because they have sinned against him. 
and they would not walk in his righteous paths before him, neither would they receive the instruction of his Torah. Therefore he hath poured upon them the fury of his anger, and hath brought upon them the strength of his warriors, and hath slain them round about, and they knew it not. And they ruled over them, and did not lay his fear to heart. Chapter 43 But now thus saith Yahuwah that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Yisrael, fear not, for I have redeemed thee, I have called thee, who art mine by thy name. For at, the, for at first, when ye did pass the Red Sea, my word was your support. Pharaoh and the Egyptians, who were as many as the waters of the river, did not prevail against you. And again, when ye came amongst the nations, who were as mighty as fire, they did not prevail against you. And kingdoms, which were strong as a flame, did not destroy you, because I am Yahuwah thy Elohim, the Holy One of Yashrael thy Savior. I gave Egypt in exchange for thee, Ethiopia and Seba in thy stead. Ever since I loved thee, thou wast precious. Yea, I love thee dearly. And I gave nations instead of thee, and kingdoms for thy soul. Fear not, for my word shall be thy support. I will bring thy children from the east. I will bring together thy, ca thy captivity from the west. I will say to the north, bring. And to the south, keep not back. Bring my sons from afar, and the captivity of my people from the ends of the earth. All these things shall come to pass for the sake of your righteous fathers, upon whom my name was called, yea, for my glory I have created them. I will restore their captivity, yea, I will work wonders for them. When I brought forth my people from Egypt, they were like the blind, although they had eyes, and like the deaf, although they had ears. Let all the nations be gathered together, let the kingdoms be brought together. Who among them can declare this and give us the joyful things of tidings of old? Let them bring forth their witnesses, that they may be justified. Let them hear, and let them speak truth. Ye are my witnesses, saith Yahuwah, and my servant, the Messiah, in whom is my delight, in order that ye may know, and that ye may believe in me, and understand that I am he who was from the beginning. Yea, ages after ages are mine, and beside me there is no Elohim. I, even I, am Yahuwah, and beside me there is no Savior. I, I have declared unto Abraham your father what would come to pass. I, I redeemed you out of Egypt, as I swore to him between the pieces. And I, I have made you to hear the doctrine of my Torah from Sinai. And ye are still alive when there is no strange Elohim among you. Yea, ye are my witnesses, saith Yahuwah, that I am Elohim. Yea, from eternity I am he, and there is none that can deliver out of my hand. I will do it, and who shall turn it back? Thus saith Yahuwah, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Yashrael, because of your sins I led you captive to Babylon, but I will prostrate all of them with their oars, oars, yea, the Chaldeans and the ships of which they boast. I am Yahuwah, your Holy One, the Creator of Yashrael, your King. Thus saith Yahuwah, I am He who prepared a way in the sea, and a path in mighty waters. I, who brought out the chariots and horses, and a great host, yea, much people, they were swallowed up together, they did not rise, they were extinguished, they are extinct like the glimmering wick is extinguished. Remember not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Behold, I make a new thing, and now it shall be revealed, and will you not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness, and rivers in the desert, they shall honor me when I make habitable provinces at the desert, and the places where the dragons and the daughters of the ostrich dwell, because I will give water in the wilderness, rivers in the desert, to give drink to the captives of my people, in whom I delight. This people I have prepared for my service, they shall declare my praise. Right? His people are the witnesses. It hath been said by the prophets that ye of the house of Jacob have not met together for my worship, but the, that ye were weary of the doctrine of my Torah, O Yisrael. Thou hast not brought unto me the lambs of thy burnt offerings, and with thy holy sacrifices thou hast not honored me. I have not caused thee to multiply offerings, neither did I burden thee with frankincense. Thou hast not brought for me the aromatic reed with silver, with the fat of the holy sacrifices thou hast not anointed mine altar, but thou hast multiplied thy sins before me. Thou hast burdened me with thine iniquities. I, even I am he who forgiveth thy sins, for thy sake of my name, and thy sins shall not be remembered. Speak now, 
we will plead together, declare thou for the purpose that thou mayest justify thyself, if thou art able to do so. Thy first father hath sinned, and thy teachers have rebelled against my word. Therefore I have profaned the princes of the sanctuary, and, have and I have delivered Jacob to the slaughter, and Yashrael to reproaches. Chapter 44 Yet now hear, O Jacob, my servant, and Yashrael, whom I have chosen. Thus saith Yahweh thy maker, and he that formed thee from the womb, he will help thee. Fear not, O Jacob, my servant, and thou, O Yashrael, whom I have chosen. For as the waters are discharged upon the thirsty land, and are set flowing upon the dry land, so will I give my Holy Spirit, my Ruach HaKovdesh, unto thy children, and my blessing unto thy children's children. The righteous shall grow, and tender and delicate as the flowers of the grass, as a tree that sends forth its roots by the streams of waters. This one shall say, I am of them that fear Yahuwah, and another shall pray in the name of the Elohim of Jacob. This one shall offer his oblation before Yahuwah, and draw near in the name of Yashrael. Thus saith the king of Yashrael, and his redeemer, Yahweh Sevaot, I am he who was from the beginning, yea, eternities of eternities are mine, and beside me there is no Elohim. Who like me shall procre pro proclaim this, shall declare it, and set it in order before me, and from, t from the time that I appointed the ancient people, and let them declare unto us the things that are coming, and shall come? Fear ye not, neither be ye afraid. Have not I told thee from that time, and have declared it? Ye also are my witnesses, that there is no Elohim beside me, and there is none strong, except he to whom strength is given from me. They that make images are all of them vanity, and worship what does not profit them, and they are witnesses against themselves, that they do not see, nor know, that they may be ashamed." Whoever maketh an, an Elohim or a molted image, it is for no purpose. Behold, all their worshippers shall be ashamed, and the working artificers are workmen of the sons of men. Let them all be gathered together. Let them stand up. They shall fear and be confounded together. The smith maketh an, an axe out of iron, and bloweth the coals in the fire, and maketh it firm with a hammer, and worketh it with the power of his strength. But when he that worketh it is hungry, and does not eat bread, he hath no strength. And if he is thirsty, and drinketh no water, he fainteth. The carpenter stretcheth out the line, he applieth the plummet to it, he carveth it with a knife, and he dovetaileth it together, and he maketh it after the likeness of a man, according to the beauty of a woman, that it may remain in the house. He heweth for himself cedars, and taketh scarlet oak, and a chestnut, and seasons them. He plants the ash amongst the trees of the forest, and the rain nourisheth it, that it may serve a man to burn. And he taketh thereof, and warmeth himself. Yea, he kindleth it, and baketh bread. Yea, he maketh it an Elohim, and worshipeth it. He formeth it an image, and prayeth to it. He burneth half thereof in the fire, and by the other half he eateth flesh. He roasteth meat, and is satisfied. He also warmeth himself, and said, Aha, I am worn, I have seen the fire. And the remainder thereof he maketh a god. To the image he boweth down, he becometh servile to it, and prayeth to it, and saith, Deliver me, for thou art my Elohim. They know not, neither do they understand, for their eyes are closed, closely shut up, so that they cannot see, and their heart that they cannot understand. And he does not consider in his heart, neither hath he knowledge or understanding to say, Half of it I have burned in the fire, yea, I have baked bread upon the coals thereof, I have roasted flesh and eaten it. And shall I make the remnant thereof a god? Shall I bow myself down to the stock of a tree? Behold his god, part of it is ashes. His undiscerning heart has caused him to err, so that he cannot deliver his soul, nor say, Is not a lie which I have made with me in my right hand? Remember these things, O Jacob and Yashrael, for thou art my servant. I have formed thee that thou should serve me, that thou, O Yashrael, shouldst not forget my fear. I have blotted out as a thick cloud thy transgressions, and as a cloud vanisheth away all thy sins. Return to my worship, for I have redeemed thee. Sing, O ye heavens, for Yahweh hath wrought redemption for his people. Let the foundations of the earth rejoice. Rejoice, O mountains, in praise, O forest, all the trees therein, for Yahweh hath redeemed Jacob, and will glorify himself in Yashrael. 
Thus saith Yahuwah, who hath redeemed thee, and who hath prepared thee from the womb. I am Yahuwah that maketh all things. I have suspended the heavens by my word. I have laid the foundations of the earth by my strength, that frustrateth the tokens of the liars, and maketh diviners mad, that turneth wise men backwards, and bringeth their knowledge into contempt, that confirmeth the word of his righteous servants, and performeth the counsel of his messengers, that saith to Yerushalayim, Thou shalt be inhabited, and concerning the cities of the house of Yehuda, they shall be built, and her desolated places I will raise up, that saith to Babylon, Be desolate, and I will dry up thy rivers, that promises Cyrus that he will give him a kingdom, and that he shall establish my pleasure, even to him that saith to Yerushalayim, Thou shalt be built, and the temple shall have its foundation laid. Chapter 45 <clears throat> Thus saith Yahweh to his anointed, to Cyrus, whom I hold firm by his right hand, to deliver the nations unto him, and I will loose the loins of the kings to open the doors before him, and the gates shall not be shut. And isn't that amazing? I mean, this was written uh, a couple at least a couple hundred years, almost 200 years before Cyrus, and I mean, just by name, he was written in a book 200 years before him, and he must have, this must have been shown to him. He was probably like, Let's build, let's build, let's build, let's build Yerushalayim. Let's do it. I mean, I'm just guessing. I'm just imagining how amazing that would have been. My word shall go before thee. I will have a way in the plains. I will break in pieces the doors of brass and cut in sunder the bars of iron. And I will give thee the treasures of darkness and hidden treasures that thou mayest know that I, Yahuwah, who called thee by thy name, am the Elohim of Yashra, of Yashrael. For Yaakov my servant's sake, and for Yashrael my elect, yea, I have called thee by thy name. I have guided thee, though thou hast not known that thou shouldst fear me. I am Yahuwah, and none else. There is no Elohim beside me. I have supported thee, though thou hast not known that thou shouldst fear me. Now, really quickly, how many of us can look back at our life and see where he was with us, even though we weren't with him yet? And I was just actually just pondering that today. You know, because he knew, he knew exactly who would turn and hearken to his word and who would not from the foundation of the earth. And so he's telling you here, right, you know, um, I have supported thee, though thou hast not known that thou shouldst fear me. And he did that before we even knew to do that. That they may know that from the rising of the sun and from the west, I am Yahuwah, and there is none else who prepares the light and creates darkness, makes peace and creates punishment for evil. I, Yahuwah, do all these things. Let the heavens drop down from above, and the clouds flow with good. Let the earth open itself, and the dead live, and let righteousness be revealed together. I, Yahuwah, have created them. Woe to him who thinks of striving against the words of his Creator, and trust that which the images of a potter shall do him good, which are made out of the dust of the earth. Is it possible that the clay should say to him that worketh it, Thou hast not made me? Or the work, he hath no hands. Woe to him that saith to his father, What begettest thou? And to his mother, What hast thou brought forth? Thus saith Yahuwah, the Holy One of Yisrael, and he that formed him, Ye question me about things concerning my people, which shall come to pass, and will you command me concerning the work of my power? Is it I who have made the earth by my word, and I have created man upon it? Is it I who have suspended the heavens by my power? and I have laid the foundations of all the hosts of them, it is I who will verily bring him forth publicly, and all his paths I will direct. He shall build my city, and he shall let the captives of my people go, not for a price, nor for money, saith Yahuwah Sevaot. Thus saith Yahuwah, the wealth of Egypt, and the merchandise of Ethiopia, and all the men of the Sabaeans, the men of traffic, shall come unto thee, and in thine they shall be. They shall walk according to thy command. They shall pass along in chains, and they shall bow down to thee, and shall supplicate thee, saying, Verily, Elohim is in thee, and there is no Elohim whatever, whatsoever beside him. Verily, thou art he who dost make thy Shekinah to dwell in the highest heaven. O Elohim of Yashrael, the Savior, they shall be ashamed and confounded, all of them. The worshippers of images shall walk in confusion. Yashrael shall be saved by the word of of Yahuwah with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded forever, yea, for ages after ages. 
For thus saith Yahuwah that created the heavens, he who laid the foundations of the earth and made it is Elohim. He formed it. He created it not in vain, but he formed it that the sons of men should multiply upon it. I am Yahuwah, and there is none else. I have not spoken in secret in a dark place of the earth. I have not... I said not unto the seed of the house of Jacob, Seek me reverently in vain. I, Yahuwah, speak the truth, declaring upright things. Assemble yourselves and come. Draw near together, ye that are escaped of the nations. They know nothing that carry about their wooden images, and who pray unto an Elohim shall not, that shall not save. Tell ye, and draw ye near. Yea, take counsel together. Who hath declared this from ancient time? Who hath told it from that time? Have not I, Yahuwah? And there is no Elohim whatever beside me. A just Elohim and a Savior, there is none but I. Turn unto my word and be ye saved, all that are at the ends of the earth. For I am Yahuwah, and there is none else. I have sworn by my word. The word is gone forth in righteousness from my present presence and shall not fail. That before me every knee shall bow, every tongue shall swear. Surely... He has promised to bring righteousness and strength by the word of Yahuwah. In his word they shall offer praise, and all the nations that are incensed against his people shall be ashamed. In the word of Yahuwah, all the seed of Yashrael shall be justified and glorified. And we know that the word is Messiah, Yahusha. He's the way, the truth, and life, synonymous with being the Torah. He was the Torah made flesh, the, the walking and talking uh, Torah, the word of the Most High Elohim. Chapter 46, Bel is bowed down, Nebo is cut down. Their images are in the likeness of serpents and beasts. The burdens of your idols shall be heavy upon those who carry them, because they, ex because they be exhausted. They are cut off, yea, they are altogether cut to pieces, and they were not able to deliver them that carry them. And their worshippers are gone into captivity. Hearken unto me, O house of Jacob, and all the remnant of the house of Yashrael, who are beloved above all nations, yea, beloved above all the kingdoms, even unto eternity I am he, and my word shall endure for ages after ages. It is I who have created all men, and I have scattered them from among the nations, yea, I will forgive their sins, and I will pardon to whom will you liken me and equal me and compare with me in truth? Behold, the people collect gold out of the bag and weigh silver in the balance and hire a goldsmith. And he maketh it an Elohim. They fall down, yea, they do it reverence. They bear him upon the shoulder. They carry him and set him in his place. And he abideth. It is not possible for him to move from his place. Yea, one supplicates to him, but he does not answer him nor save him out of his distress. Remember this and be strong. And bear it in mind, O rebels, remember the former things of old, for I am Elohim, and there is no Elohim whatever besides me. Declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times the things that are not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure. Who hath promised to gather together the captivity from the east, to bring openly as a swift bird the sons of Abraham, my chosen, from a distant land? Yea, I have promised it. Yea, I will bring it to pass. I have ordained it. Yea, I will do it. Hearken unto my word, ye stout-hearted that are far from righteousness. My righteousness is nigh. It is not far off, and my salvation shall not tarry. And I will place salvation in Zion and my glory in Yashrael. Chapter 47. Descend and sit in the dust, O kingdom of the congregation of Babylon. Sit on the ground. There is no throne of glory, O kingdom of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Receive this calamity and go into servitude. Pit away the glory of thy kingdom. Thy princes are overthrown. The people of thy armies are scattered. They have vanished away like the waters of the river. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered, thy shame shall be seen. I will take full vengeance on thee, on thee, and I will change thy judgment from the children of men. As for our Redeemer, Yahweh Sevaot is his name, the Holy One of Yashrael. Sit thou silent, and get thee into darkness, O glory of the kingdom of the Chaldeans. Thou shalt no more, no more be called the Mighty One of the kingdoms. I was angry with my people. I have polluted mine inheritance and given them into thine hand. Thou hast not had compassion upon them. Thou didst make thy dominion over the ancient very cruel. And thou saidst, 
I shall be the mighty one of the kingdoms, so that thou didst not lay these things to thy heart, neither didst thou remember the end of them. Therefore, hear now this, O voluptuous one, that dwellest in security, that saith in her heart, I am, and there is none else beside me. I shall not sit a widow, neither shall I know the loss of children. But these two things shall come to thee, in an appointed time, in one day, loss of children and widowhood. They shall come upon thee in their perfection, notwithstanding the multitude of thy sorceries, notwithstanding the great strength of thine enchantments, for thou hast trusted in thy wickedness. Thou hast said, None seeth thee. The wisdom and thy knowledge have corrupted thee. Thou hast said in thine heart, I am, and there is none else beside me. Therefore shall evil come upon thee. Thou shalt not know how to depreciate it. No. Deprecate it. Sorry. To how to deprecate it. Distress shall fall upon thee, and thou shalt not be able to remove it. A tumult shall come upon thee suddenly, unawares. Persist now in thine enchantments, and in the multitude of thy sorceries, in which thou wast occupied from thy youth. If so be, thou shalt be able to prevail. Thou art wearied in the multitude of thy counsels. Let them now rise up and save thee, who are familiar with the zodiac of the heavens, who look at the stars, who make known appointed seasons, deceiving thee, saying, Thus it shall happen unto thee each month. Right? That's, that's astrology, different from, different from biblical astronomy. Behold, they shall be weak as stubble. The nations which are as strong as fire shall consume them. They shall not deliver themselves from the hand of the slayers. There shall be no remnant nor escaped of them. Yea, not a place in which one might deliver himself. Thus shall the workers of thy lies be in thee, with whom thou wast occupied from thy youth. The princes of thy power shall go into captivity, each one straight before his face. None shall save thee. Chapter 48. Hear this, hear ye this, O house of Jacob, who are called by the name of Yashrael, and are come forth from the stock of Yahuda, with whom he hath made a covenant in the name of Yahweh, the Elohim of Yashrael that the remembrance of them shall not cease, shall not his word stand in truth and righteousness, for their portion is in the holy city, and their confidence is in the Elohim of Yashrael. Yahweh is his name. I have declared the former things from the beginning, and they have gone forth from my word, and I announce them. Suddenly I will do them, and they shall come to pass. I knew that thou wouldst be a rebel, and thy neck would be as hard as iron, and thy brow strong as brass. Therefore I have declared these things to thee from the beginning. Before they came to pass, I announced them unto thee, lest thou should say, Mine idol hath done them, and my molten imageth, image hath prepared them. Hast thou heard whether that was revealed to any people which was revealed unto thee? And as for you, will you not declare it? I have showed thee new things from this time, and hidden things, and thou didst not know them. They are created now, and not of old. Yea, I have not announced them before their day of their coming to pass, lest thou should say, Behold, I have known them. Yea, thou didst not listen to the words of the prophets. Yea, thou didst not accept the instructions of the Torah. Yea, thou didst not incline thine ear to receive the words of the blessings and curses of my covenant which I made with you in Horeb. For it was manifest to me that thou wouldst altogether deal falsely and be called a rebel from the womb. For not for my name's sake I will defer mine anger, and for my praise I will preserve thee so as not to destroy thee. Behold, I have refined thee, but not in the crucible of silver. I have tried thee in the distress of poverty. For my name's sake, for the sake of my word, that it may not be profaned, I will do it. In my glory, in which I have revealed myself unto you, I will not give to another people. Hearken unto my word, ye who are of the house of Jacob and Yashrael, my called. I am he who was of old, yea, ages after ages are mine, and besides me there is no Elohim. Yea, by my word I have laid the foundations of the earth, and by my might I have suspended the heavens. When I called unto them, they stand up together. And this is this is just beautiful, you know. Uh, obviously, the... Um, the Apostle John was familiar with this because it's just clear as day that it, it was by the word of the Most High that formed everything. And we know uh, that Yahusha, the word, is the son of the Most High, but not the Most High himself. All ye assemble yourselves and hear who among them hath declared these things ever since Yahuwah loved Yashrael. He will do his pleasure on Babylon. He will reveal the strength of his arm on the Chaldeans. I 
by my word have made a covenant with Abraham your father. Yea, I have called him, I have brought him into the land of the place of my Shekinah, and I prospered his way. Come ye near to my word, hear ye this. I have sorry. I have not spoken in secret from the beginning. At the time when the nations separated themselves from fearing me, at that time I brought Abraham your father to my service. The prophet said, And now Yahweh Elohim and his word hath sent me. Thus saith Yahweh, the Redeemer of the Holy One of Yisrael, I am Yahweh thy Elohim, who teacheth thee what will profit thee, who showeth the way wherein thou shouldst walk. If thou hadst hearkened to my commandments, if peace would certainly have been as the over thy peace would certainly have been as the overflowing of the river Euphrates, and thy righteousness as the, as the waves of the sea. Thy seed had certainly been as numerous as the sand, and thy children's children as the gravel thereof. The name of Yashrael should not have ceased, nor have been destroyed from before me forever. Go ye forth from Babylon, flee ye from the province of the land of the Chaldeans, declare ye with a voice of singing, bring the joyful tidings of this, bring it to the ends of the earth, say ye, Yahuwah hath redeemed his servants of the house of Jacob. He will not suffer them to thirst in the desert. He will guide them. He will cause water to flow for them from the rock. Yea, he will cleave the rock, and the waters shall gush out. There is no peace, saith Yahuwah, unto the wicked. All right, last chapter, and we're going to finish up for today. <clears throat> chapter 49. And then, so next time we'll start at 50. Listen, O isles, unto my word, and hearken, O kingdoms, from afar, Yahuwah, called me before I was. He hath made mention of my name from the bowels of my mother. He hath put his words in my mouth like a sharp sword, and the shadow of his power hath he protected me. And he hath made me like a choice arrow, which is hidden in the quiver. And he said unto me, Thou art my servant, O Yisrael, in whom I will be glorified. And it's interesting here, it's, he says this, and he hath made me like a choice arrow. This is obviously talking about Messiah, Yahusha. And he hath made me like a choice arrow, which is hidden in the quiver. And we know that Psalm 127 said that uh, the children are as an arrow in the quiver of a mighty archer. And he said unto me, Thou art my servant, O Yisrael, in whom I will be glorified. And as for me, I said, I have labored in vain, I have spent my strength for naught, and in vain, but my cause is known to Yahuwah, and the reward of my work is before my Elohim. And by the way, this chapter um, is also, it alludes to the true sons of Elohim, because we know, as the scripture says, that uh, we shall be like Messiah, and we shall be co-heirs of Messiah, um, and that we're his brethren, right? So this also applies to us as being arrows in the quiver of Yahuwah. And now saith Yahuwah that formed me from the womb to be a perfect servant before him, to make the house of Jacob return to his service, and Yashrael shall be brought to fear him, and we shall be glorious before Yahuwah, and the word of my Elohim shall be my support. And he said, Is it too little for you that you should be called my servants to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to bring back captivity of Yashrael? Yea, I will give thee for a light to the nations, to be my salvation unto the ends of the earth. Thus saith Yahuwah, the Redeemer of Yashrael and his Holy One, to them that are despised among the nations, to them that are scattered among the nations, to them that are the servants to rulers, kings shall look at them. Kings shall look at them, and princes shall rise and fall prostrate because of Yahuwah that is faithful, and the Holy One of Yashrael, he delights in thee. Thus saith Yahuwah, at the time when he will do... Do my will, I will hear your prayer. In the day of distress, I uphold you with salvation and support, for I will maintain you, and I will give thee for a covenant with the people to raise up the righteous that lie in the dust to cause to inherit the desolate heritages. Saying to them who are prisoners among the nations, Go forth to them who are kept back in darkness among the kingdoms. Show yourselves to the light, and they shall dwell in all the paths, and by all the rivers shall be the place of their dwelling. They shall not hunger nor thirst, neither shall the heat nor the sun smite them. For he that shall have mercy on them shall guide them, and he shall cause them to dwell by the springs of water. And I will make all the mountains trodden paths like a way before them, and the footpaths shall be cast up. Behold, these shall come from far, and lo, these from the north and from the west, and these from the land of the south. Sing, O heavens, and be joyful, O earth, and be glad, O mountains, with praise. For Yahuwah will comfort his people, and will have mercy upon his afflicted. But Zion said, Yahuwah hath taken his Shekinah from me, and Yahuwah hath cast me away. Is it possible that a mother can forget her child, that she should not have compassion on the son of her womb? 
The congregation of Yashrael answered and said, If there is no forgetfulness with him, perhaps he will not forget that I have made a calf of gold. The prophet said to her, Yea, these things shall be forgotten. And she said to him, If there is forgetfulness with him, perhaps it will be forgotten that I said on Sinai, We will and do and obey. He answered and said to her, My word shall not cast you off. Behold, as upon the hands thou art engraven before me, thy walls are continually before me. Those that shall build thy desolate places shall make haste. Thy destroyers and they that made thee waste shall go forth of thee. Lift up thine eyes round about, O Jerusalem, and see. All the children of the people of thy captivity are gathered together and come unto thee. As I live, saith Yahuwah, all these shall be unto thee as a vesture of glory, and their works in the midst of thee as the ornament of a bride. For thy waste and desolate places, and the land of thy destruction, surely now shall be too straight by reason of the inhabitants, and they that swallow thee up shall be far away. Henceforth shall each of the children of thy captivity in the midst of thee say, The place is too straight for me, make room for me that I may dwell. Then thou shalt say in thy heart, who hath nourished up these for me, seeing I have lost my children, and have been solitary, and exile, and an outcast? Who then hath brought these up? Lo, I was left alone. These, where were they? Thus saith Yahweh Elohim, Behold, I will reveal my power among the Gentiles, and unto the kingdoms I will raise my standards, and thy children shall come in planikins, and thy daughters shall be carried upon the shoulders. And kings shall be thy nursing fathers, and their queens shall minister unto thee. They shall prostrate themselves with their faces to the earth to supplicate to thee, and lick the dust of thy feet. And thou shalt know that I am Yahuwah, because the righteous that hope for my salvation shall not be ashamed. Shall the spoil be taken shall the spoil be taken from the mighty, and shall that which the just have taken captive be delivered? Jerusalem says, It is possible that the prey shall be taken from Esau the wicked. Actually, that's an addition. I'm not going to read the addition. For thus saith Yahuwah, I will surely restore the captivity of the mighty, and I will deliver the prey of the terrible. Surely the captivity of the mighty I will restore, and the prey of the terrible I will deliver, and I will take vengeance for thee, and I will save thy children. And I will give the flesh of them who oppress thee for food to every fowl of the heavens, and as they are drunken with new wine, so the beasts of the field shall be drunk with their blood. And all flesh shall know that I, Yahuwah, am thy Savior, and thy Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. And brothers and sisters, that is the end of our reading today. And I, for those of you that are watching live, I hope to see you uh, in the two live streams tonight. We have the... Uh, we have the um, the Revelation live stream tonight at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. And then we have the uh, Torah portion, which will be roughly around 10, 15 Central Standard Time as well, both live. So um, Shabbat is coming soon. It's almost upon us. And I look forward to seeing you in a few hours. Eh, what is that? Uh, about, uh, what, four and a half hours or so. I'll see you all. And so looking forward to, looking forward to Shabbat. So uh, I'll see you soon. And uh, just a quick prayer. Heavenly Father, O Yahuwah, we just come before you and we thank you for allowing us to gather and to read your word publicly. Uh, we pray that your words have penetrated uh, myself and those who have listened, uh, that we might understand your word better and truly uh, come back to your Torah with all of our heart, soul, and might to serve you uh, and to love our brethren as ourself. We love you in Yahusha's name and look forward to Shabbat. Amen and Amen. Those of you that are watching this as a recording, it's probably not Shabbat, so... <laughs> Anyways, we'll uh, we'll talk to you soon, brothers and sisters. Shalom. Mm -hmm.